welcome back. Uh, we get you more breaking news this time for from Nipro, wherein a civilian airport has come under attack. The runway has also been left damaged due to this airstrike that has been carried out by the Russian side. Remember, parallelly, we're also telling you what's happening in capital Kiev because Kiev is extremely important for both the sides, for the Russians to take over and for the Ukrainians to keep holding Kiev is of utmost importance. But yes, as for Nipro is concerned, an airport has come under attack and the runway has been left completely damaged. Crispino is also joining us with more details. Crispino, as a 36-hour curfew has been imposed in Kiev, uh, surrounding cities also continue to come under increasing assault. But in Nipro, for the moment, this particular airport has been directly hit by the Russian strikes. Absolutely, and the latest report coming in here is that an airport in Dnipro has been targeted. Now, according to the governor there of uh, Dnipro, he has confirmed of a Russian shelling in uh, Dnipro at the airport. He goes on to say that uh, the Russian forces fired rockets at the main civilian airport in the eastern Dnipro there, hitting the airport with the rockets. Uh, he also goes on to say that it will take time to recover, but we will win. That's the statement coming in from the governor of Dnipro there. Uh, Dnipro is, has suffered an overnight strike by the Russian forces. One of its civilian airports now coming under the target of uh, the Russian forces. And as you rightly pointed out, that a curfew has has been imposed in the capital city of Kiev and the massive developments here. The next three days will be very crucial for not just Kiev but the surrounding cities including Dnipro which has just suffered a major attack there by the Russian forces on one of its civilian airports. A Totska used short range ballistic missile has been shot down over the city of Donbass area, the separatist stronghold in eastern Ukraine. The tail of the missile, that is the point U, fell a few dozen meters from the Republican Library near the government house of the Donetsk People's Republic. The Russian military accused Kiev of committing a war crime in Donetsk. Russian military stated, and I quote, it is extremely difficult to protect yourself from deadly balls flying at high speed. The Ukrainian punitive forces sent the rocket to a densely populated area of the Donetsk People's Republic, which is full of various institutions where there were guaranteed no military facilities. Video of the aftermath showed burnt-out residential buildings and cars. Reports of the attack came as Ukrainian and Russian negotiators met for talks to resolve more than two weeks of fierce fighting but failed to find any breakthrough. Agency report for Republic TV.